Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always, always appreciate it. And in the current um, <clears throat> channel weirdness, we continue with something totally new. <laughs> no games today. Uh, but yeah, a couple videos ago, I mentioned that I was doing lots of fun creative things. And if there was any interest, I would start filming them for you guys. And I decided, eh, why not? We'll see. We'll see what takes and what doesn't. Clearly, gaming is going to be the priority of the channel. But I do other things, too. And, and I know that a lot of my interests overlap with a lot of uh, your... Like, I know being a gamer, there's a lot of overlap. Uh, so, for example, I'm a creative person. I enjoy painting minis. Found this out during quarantine back in March and April that I actually really enjoy painting D&D &D minis. Um, not just D&D &D minis, but minifigs. Uh, if you play D&D, &D, uh, then you know what these are. And if you don't, well, D Dungeons & Dragons, the tabletop RPG game. Sometimes we play with minis. Obviously, not doing any tabletop playing IRL at the moment. Um due to distancing and all that stuff. But nonetheless, this is the first video in what should be a small three-ish part, two or three-ish part, maybe four, who knows, a few episodes as we paint this uh, ogre. It is an ogre, actually. And so what I'm doing currently is basing the ogre. They all come pre-primed so that you could just start painting right away. However, I really wanted to get some dark color on them to use as a prime, more of a primer, uh, a base base, like so that if something, uh, if my other base colors don't get into every nook and cranny, uh, we at least have these dark colors that are um, happening here. So we're using a really dark brown with a touch of red in it as our base for the body. I'm just using pretty much black with a little bit maybe of brown in it. No, I think it's just solid black for the rock. And then his little overalls here. I didn't realize they were actual overalls. We're going with a brown, not as dark as the uh, ogre flesh, but a dark brown again with some red mixed in. I am using uh, the I'm using Army Painter War Paints as my painting set. Uh, I have a pretty small collection of paints, so my I'm still trying to figure out colors and trying to know how to mix them. And if the colors I'm using interest you specifically, I can go ahead in the next video and add that to it. But I know I am currently using leather brown and a bit of, I think, dragon red uh, as the base for the uh, for the little clothing options here. And I'm being really in in uh, imprecise. I'm being really rough and ready here, Just throwing down some color. We're going to be covering all this up anyway so you also notice the white table it doesn't stay there forever I changed positions this is an art table in the front of my house but it requires a lot of maneuvering to use this table so I'll just be easier to do it at my table at home so <laughs> at some point in the video it will switch but anyway skipping some certain parts like the skulls not really coloring them if I get some brown paint on them it's fine we can cover it up later uh, same thing with any of the other parts just trying to get the skin and the uh, overalls at the moment based out and then we're going to be switching to uh, getting some other colors on there so here we go you can see uh, we're starting with our greens i got a whole bunch of different greens most of the green is army painter uh, venom worm <clears throat> and uh, maybe a little bit of uh, 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 what is it fatigue uh, combat fatigue are the two main greens I'm using here I think I put a little bit of brown in the green as well to kind of just darken it a bit this is gonna be um, the bottom layer like the shade layer I watch a lot of dr. Faust painting channel on YouTube and he talks about the, he has a shade layer and then the main skin tone is the base layer which is kind of opposite of how a lot of people talk about it a lot of people talk about the first color you put down as the base um, but I'm gonna call this the shade layer this is gonna be the the paint that shows up in the dark in the deepest recesses and crevasses so you can see we're still going to town here with this dark green shadow color here uh, 
Super happy with how it's turning out so far, but there's still gonna be a ton to do. This whole video is only pretty much about getting the ogre flesh up to snuff. We're doing a layering technique where I'm trying to use um, super watered down layers after this initial layer uh, to create shade variances. The problem is um, my issues, I'm still learning, like I said, colors and how to mix and how to grade colors from one shade to another without it being too stark. So there are going to be quite a few contrasts here. And also I realized that this base was too green. Um, I wanted more of a flesh color. So while this base does poke through a little bit, uh, I do cover most of it up. <laughs> like you'll notice as the video progresses, it just keeps getting lighter and lighter and, and lighter. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think it ends up looking pretty good. Um, but this is such a fun little hobby for me to do. Um, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. I've mentioned it before. My videos and video games, uh, I did not, I, I lost the, the drive to play video games during quarantine, and so I needed to find some other hobbies. Uh, painting has become a big hobby of mine, along with playing and preparing Dungeons and Dragons. I uh, currently run two campaigns, uh, and sometimes I'm, I'm a player, sometimes I'm the DM. I play with two different groups, and I do DM both of those groups, but we trade off with another person who we, we take turns DMing. So here you can see uh, I'm using a much lighter color here. We're mixing more of the combat fatigue into the dark, into the uh, into the uh, venom worm. And I think we might even be adding a little bit of army painter cobalt skin. Um, that's kind of the three main colors here of this flesh. And I just mix ratios and change ratios with each layer, bringing it lighter and lighter each time to really bring up the contrast, really highlighting and accentuating those muscles, especially the parts that are poking out. But I, I realize that this color is actually really good. So I went pretty heavy, probably heavier than I would have normally with this color. And uh, this is actually only the second time that I've attempted this technique. Since I am relatively new, I think this is like my fourth or fifth mini that I'm painting. Uh, the first couple, it was simply put down a base color, uh, put down a wash, which uh, is like an ink. If you're new to mini painting, a wash is an ink instead of a pigment paint like this. And it, it kind of soaks into the dark cracks and crevices of the model and dries there to create some shade and shadow. And then you go back in with another lighter color and you do what's called dry brushing. And uh, I'll have to show you that in, in a video where you just, you, you scrape most of the paint off the brush and you just go in really fast with a dry, non-watered down paint. And uh, you, it, it, it catches the highest points of the model. So it's a really easy way to get shade, base, and highlight really good, uh, especially if you're first starting out. I am trying something a little more complex here. I'm gonna to try to not use any shading ink, at least not right off the bat, I th at least not for the skin. So that's what we're trying to do here. You'll notice it's gonna be tons and tons of little layers. And I just keep going back. It dries really quickly because it's so watered down. And I blot most of it on a paper towel, actually. Uh, so it dries really quickly. You'll notice I just keep coming back to each little section until I see uh, a diminishing return. In other words, where I, where the paint isn't changing the color of the model anymore. Once I've done that, I know I have enough layers on uh, on the on the body. But like I said, my 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 colors are probably too drastic in their shade. In, in their color, like they're too different to each other. So it's really easy to see the, the lines. But again, I'm still just kind of learning. So it's very similar to my <laughs> cooking videos. It's like, let's learn this together. So maybe you're just starting out painting. You've recently found the hobby and you're trying some of these techniques yourself. Um, if you are, let me know in the comments if you've painted minis, what are your tips and tricks? And as I learn, I will provide tips and tricks as well. So. I don't know how frequent painting will be on the channel, but I do know that I probably am going to put it on the channel uh, here and there. Uh, whenever I, I, the mood strikes, I pretty much will record myself painting from now on. It's a fun little hobby. I was actually, listen, I have to get better. <laughs> I have to get better at uh, staying in focus. <laughs> 
but you can see this is starting to look pretty cool i think you can you can start to see here the um the difference in the shades and that it's starting to pop now and those around the muscles where I'm leaving it nice and dark in there so that it really starts to add some shadow, which yeah, you can see I'm, I'm checking it out. I'm, anytime I slow down and look at the model, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you can see just from holding the model, the black paint has basically worn off. I should be using a stand. Uh, with some sticky tack. However, all my sticky tack is currently not here. I need to go get some more sticky tack and I need to get a better base. I'm using legitimately one of my kids little plastic bottles of bubbles as, as a handle for my models. So I have to get something better. I found a an old pill bottle. Those work really, really well. So I think I'm going to take that old pill bottle, put a bunch of sticky tack on it, and then uh, I'll have a nice handle. So I'm not gumming up the mini with my gooey hands <laughs> but you can see we moved on to yet another layer here even brighter so even more of that cobalt skin color a bit more of a flesh tone color and i've switched i think i've got a really teeny tiny brush because uh, i really want to get just little parts of each muscle here um, not want to make sure that the layer we just put on still shows through or is still visible and really trying to so get smaller chunks of each of these muscles this is our first true highlight layer and then uh, after this we will do one more little highlight layer to really make the the bulging muscles just pop uh, his face has been an absolute nightmare. It is so, so very difficult to do uh, with his, to, to get his face uh, highlighted. It's, it's really hard, it's so tiny. Like, I know that these are small minis, but my goodness, I, I always underestimate just how tiny they are. And faces are one of the most difficult things to do when it comes to painted minis, so. I do have a very simple setup. I have, like I said, a couple dozen paints, um, and I have a very basic brush set. I think it's from Michael. It's not even like official mini brushes. Um, and I just have a, a little uh, ceramic plate there that I use as my palette. I have used uh, something called a wet palette, where like you take wet, like a sponge, and lay some whack, uh, uh, parchment paper on top. And while that's good, I actually like the I like the control I can have with the water better on the plate. I know the paint dries a little faster, but I, I actually prefer it to um, the wet palette at the moment. So maybe maybe I'll experience, experiment with wet palettes or some other point. But yeah, so uh, we can see here we're doing some more little bit, and you can see how much lighter that was. Like when I first put that brown down, I was like, I don't know if this is ever gonna, and now you can't even see it. And even that super dark green that was way too dark at first, I'm actually glad we went with it because I think that in the end, it added that really nice dark shade layer that we really needed. And now we're just going in with the final color here and adding a little, wherever the muscles bulge, wherever the light hits them. Uh, still learning about exactly how this should be as well. Um, still figuring it out, watching people on YouTube. I mean, that's what I do whenever I, I'm doing this so maybe someday people will be watching me for advice <laughs> but with that being said that's gonna do it for this first painting video I want to keep these shorter um, the next one will be working mostly on his little clothing option and stuff like that doing the same process but with different colors so I hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button consider subscribing while all that being said have yourself a great day great night great whatever and I will see you for the next mini painting video take care everyone I'll talk to you later bye bye